Hello everybody, welcome to this Brain Cert review video. Today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Brain Cert. And as usual, if you do have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will also be leaving a discount link in the description of this video so that you can always get your money's worth for Brain Cert. Brain Cert is a really useful learning, teaching, and collaborative online platform that allows you to basically teach, learn, or educate with a numerous amount of people, say it's for a class or say it's for employee training, in a nice, seamless way. It's a great idea and it's been executed really well. So here we are on our main dashboard. Now, immediately we're greeted with our admin dashboard. So this is basically for all the main overall things that we've got, um, but it's less intricate than the dashboards that we have on the left here because we have four different types for different regions so we have the admin one as you can see which basically shows you quick stats such as your activity how many users courses tests live classes and disk storage you've used along with your activity stream so who's signing in who's looking at what and then the reports that you've got for courses test classes and then the contents then you've got all these things like top courses by enrollments, top tests, top five recordings, top five active virtual classrooms, most recent course completions, most recent logins, and then your top five learners, um, as opposed to the tests and the courses. So you can compare who your, you know, your top students or employees or people who are performing the best. Say you're maybe looking for somebody to get a particular job, you can see who is performing the best, um, so has therefore a higher chance of actually getting said job. Under e-commerce, we're then able to view all of the more like revenue side of things that we've got. So we can view how much money we're making, how many site orders we've had, how much traffic and site users we're, um, you know, we're at at the current moment. You can sort by categories such as courses, tests, and live classes. Then you can look at the order date of particular things. You can view all the recent orders that you've got on your website and on the system. As you can see, you can view the customer name, type, amount, payment, and then all this information as well that you might need to know about stuff if they've use a coupon um, and then you have a nice graph of all the revenue that you've got so the date is listed at the bottom and then the value of revenue that you got is listed at the top on a scale from minus one to one and then you obviously it's color coded for course test and live classes where you can view all the money that you've made in a nice chart as well Instructor is if you're a teacher or you're an employer. As you can see, you can look at all the courses that you've got, your total tests, your virtual classrooms, course bundles, tests to grade and assignments to grade. This is where you can keep on top of your grading so you don't fall behind. Um, but you can also look at how much you've had so you can give yourself breaks, you can give yourself free time. Um, you've also got the e-commerce analytics. So the amount of courses that you've got, amount of tests that you've got and the amount of live classes as well. Then you've also got a nice, uh, another option of all the assignments instead of it just gonna give you a number like this up here this will tell you the actual course name and how many assignments you've got for that particular course so it's a little bit more intricate so you can see what you need to grade you have as many tests you need to grade my teaching insights virtual classrooms and then the top course enrollments and completions um, so you can have a little look at how many students are enrolled in the class how many students are pursuing the class and how many students have completed the class so this is basically where you can look at how all of your students are doing in one place um, and see what you need to do as an instructor to make sure that you keep on top of everything and then you have the student dashboard. So this is basically where you can view all of the courses that you've got assigned, how many tests assigned and live classes. You have the reports tab here. We are able to look at course and test and how many you're enrolled on and any tests that you've previously taken. Then you've got the certificate. So you obviously have no data on the table here, but you have the course name and the date enrolled and then the certificate. And the same applies for courses and tests as well. Then you have the courses that you've actually got, as you can see, pending, in progress and completed. Any bundles that you've got, virtual classrooms that you may need to attend and things you might need to listen to you can see any that are currently going on right now how many are in the um, are in upcoming that you need to attend and how many you have already gone past and you have attended and then obviously tests very self-explanatory test name when you're invited and options with that test and then you obviously have view all on each of these as well so you can have a little look at that so global settings is fairly self-explanatory under basic settings we're able to basically change website landing security catalog virtual classroom student dashboard redirect and language settings so as you can see we have site name and description and then we have logos landing page you can have a little look at what you want it to immediately take people to you can have security such as concurrent logins and you can see when people are timed out you can catalog um, settings for logged in users you can also have a display style for each of the catalogs and then also view learn account you can basically change the logo of your virtual classroom and the redirect you can have a little look at the student dashboard to see what you want to give those people um, and then whether you want to take stuff away you can obviously just hit the off button there redirect url you can redirect people um, as soon as they log out of the site to maybe a 
you know, back to the home page where they can log back in or a thanks for visiting. And then language settings, as you can see, all the different things that you may able to, you know, help people that are foreign and might not understand English and you know, stuff like that. It also has options for extensions. So you can add all of these different extensions onto it that may be able to help. You have automation, you have calendars, you have HTTP SSO, Google Analytics, MailChimp, loads of different things. And you also have intercom so that they can get support. Under look and feel, you can obviously change the appearance of it. So you've got theme and you can change everything to do with it. So the colors, the virtual classroom theme, the course player theme, simply by changing the colors of all these areas. And it gives you a nice diagram showing you where each of these regions are. Interface language allows you to set the uh, language for all of the guests. As you can see, mine is set to English at the moment, but you can change that if you wanted to. Under user registration, this allows you to see if you want to have a capture in place, so whether you want to check that people are robots or not. Domain restriction, allow users to enroll in a group during registration. Default user group, default user type, so you can set whether they're a learner, teacher, or super admin. And then if you want to have them a single sign-in, you can have them sign in via any of these and enable terms as well. Then you can set your domain name. So obviously you can change the name that people have to type in in order to get to your specific site so at the moment mine is https opulenttools.braincert.com but you can simply remove this change it to whatever you want and then you can also set a custom host name if you did want to but you would obviously have to go through these steps that it's given you here and as you can see depending on your provider you may already have one set up you want to ensure that any domain you link it to links to the same website that we went over earlier under e-commerce, you can set the uh, the different you know um, things that you get money from. So as you can see, they support pay you money, Stripe, and PayPal, and these are very very self-explanatory. You simply just hit the connect button put in your PayPal email address and select the currency that you want to be paid in and you have notifications as well. Under list groups, you're able to view all of the groups that you've got. So as you can see, learn how to organize users in groups and design granular permissions. So you can hit add group and then this will create another category of people. So you can set the name of the group. We'll just call it group one um, and we'll call it students or whatever we really need to put and then hit save and this will create that group into the uh, section that we've just got here and you can add users to it edit users or delete the group and then export this as a csv document if you do want to and then similar premise you've got the list of users that you've got as you can see we've only got me at the moment it gives you all this information about them when they last logged on when they last logged out email last name first name username everything like that that you will need to know then you've got the roles tab which basically allows you to see what roles different people have in the company so you can obviously add roles here um, and then hitting this button it will take you to another prompting uh, section that will pop up in just a second and then when we've got it you can select the role title the name whether they have access to all of these different sections here you can add them you can read them edit or delete if you don't want them to have it um, and all of these different things you can see settings and you can have them have all different permissions for different sections so you're basically able to then view on the right hand side with these what permissions they have so as you can see for calendar if I hit selected full control they have everything Everything. If I selected read, they have read but nothing else. If I have change, they have everything but delete. And no access has nothing and none has absolutely nothing at all. Revenue reports allows you to view all the money that you've made. Obviously, we don't have any, but you're able to view every single penny um, and how and when you've got it, what time, everything like that, even the dates. And you can view a class graph, course graph, and test graph, and gross volume. So all the different money and where it's coming from, and then also a all in one. And then you obviously have the forums, which you can obviously manage in these sections here. With settings, you can go to forums forum categories and then you can also go to permissions as well. Under marketing, we have the option for our landing pages. So taking here, we basically can see what people will look at when they immediately visit our website. And we can edit this like so. As you can see, this is what it would look like. And if we hit preview, this is what it would basically show us. It will show us what we will look at when somebody enters your website and puts in that you know web address. Um, and it will take me straight back to the super mapping dashboard. But remember, the learner is what they will have a look at. Now, if we go back here, you have a thumbnail. So this is a sort of thing that you can create. You can select the page name for it as you know earlier we basically established that uh, the default landing page will immediately take you to the dashboard so you can obviously change that and then you can obviously do more and you can edit the default landing page if you want to and you can change it to look however you want and with a simple click of a button here you can hit publish um, and obviously change as many things as you want about this you can change the style the advanced settings you can also go here and look at the font color and dimensions and bootstrap variables and as soon as you're done you can either hit publish you can also view it on different 
uh, you know, different platforms. And there we have the landing pages. Now you can also go to the global discounts page and this is where you can view all of the discounts that you've got. You also have the coupon analytics so you can view, you know, how people have used the coupon, who's used it, how much money they've saved, all sorts of things like that. You also have the options for the online store so you can create and manage products that you've created. You can also edit settings to do with your shop, which we'll quickly have a look at. Um, you can also have discount coupons that you've got. So you obviously have the company, the address, the phone and the currency, the pickup location, shipping rate whether you want to charge per product or have a set shipping rate for every product that you do um, and then you obviously can create and manage your products as I said you can also make the coupons that you actually want to here you can view the different categories of the different merchandise or things you might sell or different you know courses that you might sell in this section here you can obviously add category and then you can view reports of every sort of thing that's happened with your online store so in terms of revenue orders conversion rate average value of each order online store and top customers then product order notifications you can set up to see when somebody's ordered something then below that we have the options tab where you're able to look at your content library of things that you might want to dish out to your students and give that sort of thing and you're also able to upload training materials so as you can see you have these options here and if there's a particular you know book that you want to give out or a document that you found or a really nice article you're able to upload this content so that your students can look at these um, in any of these different formats so you've got upload embed html iframe or SCORM, and then you've obviously can view all that content in the library as well then under tests you can create the tests as you can see here um, and then view all of the tests that you've got you're obviously able to have a little look at the test uh, itself the name the description the instructions as you can see what sort of website or browser rather they want to use and you can upload and then you can hit next um, and then that will take you onto the page where you can look at the advanced settings and then payment settings in order to pay to take that particular test then courses is very similar what you're able to do is create different courses for people to have a little look at so as you can see under create a course it's the same sort of appearance in terms of what this all looks like so you have reviews and rating commenting system and as you can see what i'm clicking away it what I really like about this is it allows you to essentially have a little look at uh, what each section does with a very short explanatory video um, so it goes a little bit more in depth and then you can view all the categories that you've got for different categories of courses if you're doing different subjects you can look at the instructional levels so if people are at different levels you can basically create advanced intermediate and beginner as you can see but you can also add them if you want such as expert or master it's really completely up to you what you would want to establish those levels as if you're maybe at a university it could be years or levels or whatever you want then you obviously have the amount you just list all your courses you can also have bundles of courses if you wanted to sell numerous in one sort of package and then you can manage comments as well and then the final option that we've got is virtual classrooms where you're basically able to schedule meetings online and you can schedule live classes for your students to join from home obviously because of the pandemic this has become a much bigger thing and having it integrated into websites like this i think is excellent um, and you're simply able to hit schedule a live class and this will take you to a page where you're able to do the exact same features that we went over earlier and then obviously under live classes you're able to view them all and then once the live class is over you're able to hit schedule a live class um, and basically you're able to once you've had a little look at it you can even view all the recordings of each of them so if you basically wanted to look back over a class that you previously had and you wanted to see what had gone on in that meeting this is where you would have a little look at it and you'd be able to view a recording of that particular class but other than that that is about it for brain cert so what do I think about BrainCert? And in all honesty, I think that it's a really excellent website. Now, a lot of the time people find that teachers, you know, there's many different options out there for how teachers, you know, interact with their students and stuff like that. But I think BrainCert takes a really nice approach to it. Um, the way that it lets you have numerous dashboards and you're able to pick what your students can see, it allows them to make sure that they're on top of things. And it means that there's no excuses for, you know, having late sign-ins, late hand-ins, anything like that. You can see how often they're in engaging with stuff on your website you can also publish any sort of you know information or articles or things like that that you can find and also schedule really efficient inbuilt live classes without having to use external platforms and sending a zoom link to everyone each time or a google meet link it's nice to be able to have that built in to one particular place um, which I really really like obviously the fact that you're able to make money off it if you're not already a educational establishment I think it's great you're able to charge people for it and, and overall I think it's a great way of you know managing your students and managing people and making sure everything is done at the perfect time so I would definitely recommend it but thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next time goodbye